We'll see him was in a, a lot of practice today. So we'll see how he feels in the next hour or two. Um, but I'm hopeful. So we'll, we'll see. Did he practice yesterday? Or? No, he didn't practice yesterday. We just kind of kept him out just as, you know, being as cautious as we can. And I didn't know if he was going to practice today either. But he came in to the office and was like, hey, I'd like to try. He actually did a. He did a math for a conditioning deal yesterday, and he actually responded pretty well. It's a pretty simple conditioning deal, but his post-exercise um, effects were negligent. So negligent is not the right word. They were what? They were negligible. Negligible. Thank you. Better. I got a bunch of journalists in here. I should be able to get some help. Um, so. <laughs> so we're hopeful. We'll see. We'll see how it feels after. Feel the practice seemed a bit different from a week ago. Um, just talk about the attitude of the team right now, uh, where, where everyone's at. Um, well, we're hungry and um, and um, digging deep and hopeful and um, urgent and um, you know fatigued and all the things that you should be at this point in the season. So. Um, you know, I think our guys are, uh, they're committed right now to trying to um, come perform well on Thursday. How much um, personal responsibility have the, take, have the players taken in this, this stretch that you guys have, this difficult stretch? Um, I know it's hard for the guys. Like, it's, um, you know, it's hard. It's, it's, hard to, it's hard to lose, right? And um, it's hard to lose a game. And then it's hard to lose a couple back-to-back, -back, especially games that, that um, are really important, and these guys are. Um, th these guys care, man. Do they care? And um, it's a, it's interesting. That the, you know, um, sometimes we we watch these athletes, and we see them do these incredibly spectacular things, and we see them. Um, they almost seem like they're. Um, they're different than us. They're um, special. They're impenetrable. They're, um, you know, the, 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 it just seems like they're 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 built different. They are in some ways, but um, but they care, man. They care uh, just as you know, you know the, the emotion that is poured out of these guys as they're chasing this through through uh, wins and through some losses is. Um, enormous, like the emotional capital that they put towards this. And so, um, fortunately, you know, the whole world doesn't see these guys in the moments when things are really hard um, because it's – these guys are super vulnerable. I mean, incredibly vulnerable. And and um, that's what – that's how you are. When you put your whole heart into something, when you go all in, by definition, you're super vulnerable. And um, and it's hard, and so um, it's it's actually one of the humbling things about coaching is getting to witness these guys do this. But um, it's a journey. The last couple of weeks, you kind of talked about balancing the analytics versus what you're mm -hmm. actually seeing and finding the right balance and rotation. Do you feel like you made any progress in that? Right now? Um, maybe we we got a lot of dynamics cooking, um, and so the, you know the one thing about. Analytics is their broad brush, and they kind of cover the, you know, the 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 the, um, uh, the sample size is so important, and so the sample size is giving you a best guess, but the best guess sometimes can be mitigated by current circumstance, right? And um, so, you know, uh, the dynamics of our guys is changing every day, like, um, and so uh, I think a little bit. I think we're feeling like we're we're moving forward and. Super hopeful. Have you needed a point of emphasis in practice um, since Saturday to you know, kind of get positive reinforcement? I heard you say, like, let's have some fun, let's go, mm -hmm. you know, get a good job, things like that, just to build the, the mental side of these guys right now. Yeah, um, that's, I think at this point in the season, everybody's trying to do that just because you're in the, you know, these are dog days. And then the dog days when you lose a couple of games is, is, is even harder, right? And so, um, and we all, you know, we're also, you know, 
you know, we're looking for some some belief too, for sure. And um, that's that's the most important part of this game. And so, um, you know, I think I think we're all we're all chasing um, we're all chasing that a little bit. How do you personally handle losing? And we noted that this is something that's why you've been in here. You have yeah. It. How do you handle it personally away from the game? I'm really bad at it. I'm so bad at it. I'm awful. So I'm trying to I'm trying to um, you know. Um, you know, I think our answer is always the same. Like it's it's, it's always the same. Just just work harder and and uh, dig deeper and and um, and and um, you know you're usually the, the game usually rewards you for that. It usually does, right? Sometimes it's not immediate, but it usually does. And I have a lot of faith in that. I got a ton of faith in that. So I know that one of the phrases you guys have used a lot, especially early season, was uh, joy in the gym. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned that was something that you were trying to work on compared to last year. Mm-hmm. Today, there was joy in the gym despite four losses in a row. So, where does yep. that joy kind of come from? Right now? Well, it's, it's first of all, we get to play this game for a you know, these guys get to play this game right now as college athletes, and, and I get to play this game for a living, right? So, um, and really, these guys are you know, getting school paid for playing this game, and so you know, it's you know, it's it's interesting just remembering that is important, right? And um, I thought the guys. Had great force today and urgency. We weren't perfect, and you know we, there were some things that were a little sloppy, but but our force and urgency was really good. And then and then um, and um, we got to play right. And you know sometimes it's it's just in- interesting. These athletes have to face so much more than I did when I was a player. I mean, they can't get away from it, and um, and it's just it's just interesting. It's just a different life in a different world, meaning they can't get away from everybody's thoughts getting to them. And, um, but at the end of the day, we get to be in this gym with guys we love, guys we respect, guys we want to fight with, and we get to actually play this game. It's awesome. And, um, you know, there's something more at the core of that than wins and losses or anything else. It's just going to play this game. So if we do it right, we just have to remember. It's just like, you know, we all drive by these mountains every day. When I first moved here, like, I'd look at the mountains 10 times a day and just be, like, in awe, like, just in awe. And I promised myself that I would never allow myself to, like, roll in and out of here without just being looking at the majesty of these mounds like it just is it's just inspiring and you just don't want to become numb to it right and that's our job also doing this every day is we can't forget how much we love this game and um, how special it is that we have today where we get to play it you know because we're not promised you know, we've seen that this year we're not promised tomorrow getting to play this game. These players aren't. And we know in coaching that we're not promised tomorrow being able to coach. And, and, um, and we're definitely not promised being able to do it together. And so, it's, it's, it, man, it's so important that, that you know, we, we, we remember how grateful we are that we get to do this. It's important. Closing into practice, um, you and your wife, Dan, uh, sit next to, to Caleb. How is he handling his, his new role coming off the bench uh, in the rotation? Yeah, he's incredible, this, this guy. I mean, I don't, you know, I, I, I just, I, I love him so much. He, he just is, he talk about being built different. He's built different. Um, he is, um, you know, he's endured a lot of frustration, and he will not let it show. And he will not um, run away from the moment, and he will not, you know, he just, it's unbelievable. Uh, he just is. He just is an incredible person, and um, you know sometimes adversity r- really can reveal character. And his character, like I, I don't know how you could not be the most proud human being in the world to have a son like Caleb Loner, because because he just you know through frustration and doubt and everything, he is an incredible teammate. He refuses to flinch on the court. He runs off the court and on the court, whether it's been a good play or a bad play, and daps up his guys. Um, he just is, you talk about being relentless. He is just, a, he's a special human being. It's not easy. It's, it's not easy to do what he's doing right now. 
and um, and he just man, he's incredible. I know everyone doesn't get to see that up close, you know. Sometimes, you know, Caleb probably hasn't played as as well as he he would like to, um, and so that's the only thing that most people see and the only thing they digest, right? Um, just like I haven't coached as well as as as, um, as I would like to coach, and that's the th- the thing that people you know publicly get to digest. Um, um, but but um, you know what I get to witness in these guys is just like there's no words. It just is incredible, and he is special. So he's he's dealing with it well. Are his struggles, would you say, on the offensive end, maybe at this point a mental thing because what he was doing last year in conference play was just far more efficient. Yeah, it's you know it's 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 um, you know none of us have really settled in in a weird kind of unexpected way. I think you know you think about it. Two weeks ago, we were 74-70 with 45 seconds left and the ball, and, um, and, and, and 45 seconds away from the best start in the history of BYU basketball in the WCC, right? And so this kind of just punched us in the face. It really has. And, and we're, we're, you know, we've staggered a little bit. And, and, um, and so it just is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's why athletics are so great because you just don't know the outcome. Right, like that's why we all come to these games. It's a little bit different than going to the theater, right? Where you kind of know that the story is going to be reproduced every time. The great thing about athletics is you walk into the gym, you're like, I have no idea what's going to happen. And uh, that's you know that's what we're, you know that's that's where we get to live, and we're really blessed to be there. And so it's the whole team. It's like we've we've all kind of you know as a team, we're shooting under forty percent from the field and. And we're shooting under 30% from the three-point line, and we got turnover issues, and and um, it's just kind of like it just kind of smacked us in the face, and and uh, we get to figure out if we can respond to it. So do you think that the technical adjustments you've made might put you guys over the top on Thursday, or is it more of a mental preparation? I wish I was that smart. I wish I was. Um, you know, v- very seldom does. Um, very seldom is it is it um, scheme that saves you. Scheme can inspire you. Scheme can kind of make things a little bit easier. Scheme can kind of, you know, buy you a little bit of confidence. Um, it's important, but but really it's it's um, it's it's the heart and soul and fight and belief, and that's 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 where you know, I think all of us are surprised where, where we are right now, but. But we're here, and and um, and that's actually super exciting. We got to try and dig out of it. It's great. When you say that you don't handle losing well, does that mean that you're like smoking in the dark, or are you stress eating? Well, I can't smoke. That would be against the honor code. So, um, uh, no, it just means. Um, oh man! So I. You know, we always talk about fighting to get constructive as soon as we can, and that's really important. And um, um, and you know, and and kind of managing the frustration a little bit, and that's super important. And um, and and sometimes like there's some lag time for me. Like I, I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, um, sometimes I, I, you know. I think one of the things about when you're struggling, also when you're winning, but also when you're struggling, is is finding the right questions to dwell on. Right? What are the right questions to be asking right now? There's so many questions to ask. There's so many deep dives to do with this team. Um, there's with individuals, with schemes, with rotations, with every you know, with staff, with everything else. And so, um, I think dialing in on the right questions is really important. And the, um, you know, and and you know, we're, we're trying to do that, so. What are you seeing from Alex in this stretch? Because he comes back with the intent to, you know, mm-hmm. do something special in March. Yep. This is the, the bump in the road that maybe no one saw. How, yep. how is he responding to all of this right now? He's unbelievable. And we talk about this before every season. We're like, there's going to be several times during the season where we're like, it's not going to work. I mean, that's the beauty of a season. There, You know it going in that there's going to be times where you're going to look around and be like, this is not going to work. We've had those, you know, every season that I've been here, every season I've had the, the, the honor of coaching, we've had those, you know. And, and there's just these moments where you look around and you're like, man, you know, 
we're not sure if this is going to work and nobody outside of us thinks this is going to work and you're kind of like, man, can we make this work? And actually, those are the most satisfying moments to overcome if you can do it. And Alex has kind of been down that road also where he's like, I don't know if this is going to work and then he's made it work. So I think he's got a lot of hope and a lot of confidence and and um, a lot of trust and, and we believe we're going to find a way to make it work. How simple is it maybe just, sim- as just hitting three-pointers? I mean, hitting shots because you had undersized teams your first year here. Mm-hmm. These were the number one team nationally to shoot the three. Yeah. How big of a component is the struggles with poor poor people shooting? You know, I hate, I, I don't believe in like, I don't, I don't believe in that. I think good teams can win all kinds of different ways. And so if we're going to be a good team, we need to be able to win when we're not making shots. We've proven that we can. We've actually done that. Yeah. We've had some roster changes in the meantime. But, but um, you know, it's, it's, you know, I think, I, I think it's, it's giving away your power if you say, ah, man, we'll win if we make shots and we'll lose if we don't make shots. I don't believe in doing that. Like, you know, if, if I'm a good coach and we're a good team and we're really together, we'll figure out ways to win without making shots. It, does, it, it makes it harder but we can do it I mean we've done it this year we've done it in huge games this year and won games without making shots and so and we've won a lot of huge games and um and so you know I don't think we're sitting here saying ah man if we if we you know hopefully we make shots on Thursday so we win this game that's just not how we operate here I don't I don't believe in that I think it's like I said I think it's giving away your power what's it like preparing for a guy like yeah, he's such a problem, man. Would this guy just graduate and get out of here, please? He is a he's a terrific player. He's a, he's a point post. Um, he's so physical. He's so clever. He's so ambidextrous in the post. He's an elite level passer. Um, he's just a problem, and he's he's got good players around him, and and uh, they're getting better. They, they're actually um, a better team than they were a month ago. Um, and uh, and he's he, you know he's the ringleader and he's he's tough. We might be the only team as small or smaller. Yeah. How is that going to affect how you look? It's going to be really interesting. I think it's going to be super interesting um, because they do not have great length. Now what they do have is they cover a boatload of ground, and um, they are you know if they start the way I think they will, they'll be six eight six 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 three four five, but. Um, but they're like 6'8", 240, 6'6", 320. That's, that's, I don't know if that's actually accurate. But they're like, they got some, they got some width to them that's really impressive. And uh, they're super physical. And what's interesting is you think about this underside team, and they, they actually make more of their living in the post than any team in, in, in our league, which is super, well, maybe not the Zags. But, but um, it's super interesting the way that they're built and, and the way they do it and, so, we'll see. Coach, what's the, what's the challenge right now in getting more production out of the guys around Alex? Yeah, so, um, you know, right now, you know, I think one of the things that, that can be a contributor to, to, um, to not shooting the ball is, is not working hard enough to earn your teammates great shots. And certainly, as you look at us right now, there's been some of that. Now, you know, you know. For example, the first ten possessions against the Zags, we scored five points, and we loved nine of the ten possessions. Right? We actually loved the, we didn't love the outcome, but we loved the feel and what we got out of it. We're like, this is exactly what we're trying to get out. We just, you know, at the at the end of it, we just weren't quite good enough on that day to kind of, to finish right. And and um, and so there's a lot of components that go into that, right? So. I think our big focus this week is like, how can we be more committed and work hard to earn each other better shots, right? Um, usually when you're not shooting great, it's just because you're not earning yourself good enough shots consistently. And I think there's some of that in, in us right now. So that's, that's probably the number one way we're trying to do it is just, is, just, is just really be dialed in on earning each other better shots. Yes, a hundred percent better screening. Uh, well, first of all, a hundred percent, a hundred percent better play calls and maybe less play calls. You know, there's always this. Um, you know, as a coach, it's 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 super interesting for me at least, and we've talked about this in past years. But, um, you know, you talk about your guys wanting to trust trust each other and trust the game, and then yet as a coach, you're trying to fix it, and so. 
you can end up strangling the life out of a team too with play calls, right? And it's just a balance. It just is a balance. Clearly in the last four games, I've done a terrible job striking that balance. I probably pulled back a little bit too much. And um, and um, and so, yeah, that's a huge contributor. Uh, sc- screening is a huge contributor. Cutting hard is a huge contributor. Keeping your dribble alive. Um, getting driving lines. Uh, playing off two feet. Um, you know, earning pace in the half court. Finding angle windows, angles, you know, on penetration, uh, you know, like for example, simple way racing to the corner on an offensive rebound or a roll catch or whatever. So you're actually filling positions. Like it's all that stuff um, is is incorporated in earning better shots for your team. And so it's um, you know this, this this game of basketball is a, there's a lot of art to it, right? And there's a lot of feel and and. Um, there's a lot of variables, but so all those things lead to it. And, and the intentionalism of, of being on the court, like Caleb Lowen, I thought was unbelievable today, earning shots for his teammates. I thought he was unbelievable today, you know, and, um, and it was super intentional on his part. And so just, just being focused on that, I think, is a big deal. As you go through these, this rough stretch right now, do you ever draw upon your experience as a player? Kind of Kentucky, mm-hmm. but Washington or in the NBA, yeah. try to share with your players about how you kind of work through these. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. I mean, I don't share too much personal stuff with the guys in terms of like they don't want to hear about some old guy who played a hundred years ago, right? But, um, but I do draw on the experience because I can relate. Like, is it, it from for our staff? I've had moments like this where I can relate to like this feeling. And then certainly as a player, I understand what this can feel like, like all the dynamics. And it doesn't just feel like one thing. It's got, you got all these competing thoughts and worries and hopes and expectations rolling through your mind at the same time, and it can get super cloudy, right? So, yes, 100% in terms of drawing on that experience to, to kind of try the best we can to navigate this, yes, 100%, absolutely. Um, this is super embarrassing. If you ask me right now, I would believe the Rams and the Bengals are. In the, that's right. I know that. Now that you said that, I know that. I know that. We we we're we got. I'm, I'm excited about this Super Bowl, but um, on our priority list, it's it's below these beautiful cookies we have right there. I can tell you that. All right. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Okay.